Cash is passionate about the environment and he's doing some amazing things. And I found Cash on Instagram and I've been following you for a while, Cash. And I'm just so excited to speak with you um, and to share the story, your story with everyone and what you do, the amazing things that you do. And I want to know, when did you first get, uh, get interested in the environment and helping our planet? I just love fish since I was four years old. So it just, the more I kept learning, it just grew on me. Wow. And what do you love about fish? Um, they're awesome and without them, the balance of everything will, like, fall apart. Okay, so they're very important. Because fish keep the balance in our world. Okay. And, and the water does as well. That's right. And, um, so you live close to a river, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Tennessee River. Amazing. And what project are you working on at the moment? They're actually made out of t-shirts that we found at yard sales or Goodwill that we don't like and we cut them and like <sighs> maybe it will be easier if I show you. Okay, show me. Very cool. And here That's amazing. So, so there's on the bottom, nothing's gonna fall through, and we tie these. There's no sewing done. That's incredible. Looks, I love it. Tell me, tell me about the river cleanups. Do you do that with your friends? Yeah, just people that come. I mean, I've done, I've been on three plus you a few times, and talking about my river cleanups. And that was a big turnout. The first one was really big. The last one we did was, um, how much trash would you say we got? 23 buckets. 23 buckets. Wow. And we found some of the most unusual things you'll ever find in the water. Tell we me. found a Batman toy. A Batman toy. Yeah, and a fishing rod that snapped in half. That is crazy. We found two tires in my career. Wow. So how often are you doing the river cleanups? Once a month. Um, what do you want to do when you finish school? Hmm. I want to be a marine biologist, a dive with sharks, when I'm 13, I'm going to go to Hawaii and dive with sharks. Wow, that's exciting. You're not scared? You're not scared? Uh, no. You love them? Your, so what's your favorite shark? Hmm. Little shark. It's the biggest fish in the ocean, and they don't hurt you, so it's easy to swim right beside them. So what would be... what? What is your message for the world? If you wanted to share um, something with all our listeners and our viewers, what would that be? Hmm. That start recycling, and if you recycle, then you're reducing less plastic. And if you do something small, and everybody does something small, it makes a big difference. A hundred percent. What would you say would be, if you could list three things that you're grateful for, what are you grateful for? Water that makes me happy and a family that put me on this planet. Yeah. And I love to look out the window and... And see the beauty around you. That's amazing. I love it. And can you tell me a little bit more about your research and understanding about the fishes and how that um, has a huge role in our environment and what the fish do for us um, and maintaining that balance? Um, like, say there's a minnow swimming around and a tuna comes around and eats it. And then a squid comes and eats that. 
and then sharks come and eat that and animals on the land and orcas can eat them so the orcas are the top predators of the ocean and smaller fish that live in the river keep our balance from the animals that live on the land so fish design our life because mm -hmm. without those animals for us to eat everything will perish yeah well, thank you so much for talking with me. I love the messages and the insights that you have and the wonderful things that you're doing. You're inspiring so many people and making such a big impact. 